Andy, you want to skate? Next, Trevor's here, can you skate down? One time. Anybody have to skate? Anyone? No? We got rentals down there for one time. Hey guys. I gotta admit, man. Theo's a pretty awesome boss. And the fact the one thing I asked for is a special assistant, is to have an ice rink in front of the offices, so I can have fun during my lunch hour as a Canadian. It's pretty cool. So Theo. Thanks, man. Thanks for making that happen. You're the best. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Okay. Are these even regulation? Can you get some more? Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way. Alright, here we go. Down the back. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look. The ice out there. It's got bumps. It's got bumps in it. But it's bumpy. What's that? That watch is still. They make it way, way easier on TV. That stuff is tough, man. Thanks for the off ski plan the way they are. I'd be sure to chat with a shot or maybe like, you know, sixth or seventh plan guy. Maybe practice squad. Um, it's been fun so far, guys. We're having a fun time, right? Everybody have a good time? When I say fun, I don't know if anybody exemplifies fun, as well as hard work more than this next guest. All he's done since he's come here from Tampa Bay is lead us to three NLCS, including the first World Series title in 100 years. postseason from here back to Pennsylvania. Hung out there in Hazleton for a couple days, went back down to Florida and did a bunch of uh, thanks messages in uh, Tampa. We've done it in Pennsylvania. We had our hip project back there, and then we, we came on up here last week and did the same there. It's kind of busy, uh, but absolutely worthwhile. And Johnny was up there for the... John, and listen, John came out to our, uh, our gig in Hazleton this year, the Hazleton Integration Project, our uh, kind of our banquet, our gathering. And he, uh, he did his uh, Johnny Vincent thing, and uh, the people were very, very impressed. He came out, Coach Simkin came out, and David Axelrod came out, so he had a very successful event. Well, you came out to uh, the little skinny one, and was, are you superstitious? Uh, just a little stitious. <laughs> just a little stitious, yes. I just a little. And I do, uh, but honest, honestly, are there things like, are you wearing the same underwear you wore since we won? Or I don't wear <laughs> 
the things you guys are playing out. Except when you wear a suit. Or when you wear light colored pants, you gotta wear underwear too. And you do, you do these amazing things. I mean, it, it's a constant theme. I could bring up guy after guy after guy of all the people that do all these great things for charity and the work they do off the field. And you're continuing this. Like, when you look at all the things you're doing, you know, you do stuff here with your fight night. You do, you feed, you, you, just while you were here, feeding people uh, food like crazy and making sure that they're well fed. And the stuff you're doing, yes, please. What means the most? Yeah, like all the stuff you do off the field. Well, um, you know, first of all, though, this is a very philanthropic organization. I think you all know that. It's spearheaded by the Ricketts family. I attended a gig last night, Anthony Rizzo, and what Riz does in the community and throughout the United States. They, they, the Cubs charities, that's what he says you want to For me personally, um, you know, we, we do some uh, pretty cool stuff, but I think the Dankson's program, Something I began uh, when I was with the Rays, the Devil Rays. Um, briefly, I used to work for the Angels several years ago, and I would ride my bicycle up and down the Pacific Coast Highway between, say, uh, Sunset Beach down to Newport and back. See a lot of folks pushing their entire life in a shopping cart, and it obviously bothered me, so I thought, if I ever got a larger soapbox to stand on, I would attempt to do something. And then I got a larger soapbox as a manager in Tampa Bay, and then, of course, an even bigger one here in Chicago. So what it is, uh, I've always had the soft spot, you know, folks in need. Uh, it's a really uh, difficult, like, especially look at the weather right now. You walk around downtown and you see a lot of folks that are in need. We just had a thanks just the other night. And again, it's just a drop in the bucket we're able to do. But if we can ra raise awareness and really cause more people to volunteer, potentially, you, everyone, everybody in the, in the audience. Uh, everybody, you know, volunteerism is where it's at, folks. Uh, you know, a lot of these folks, they, they show up and they, they cook two, or two meals a day, they serve people, they clean it up, and they move it forward to the next day for nothing, and nobody even knows about them. So all of a sudden, I become a good guy because I'm able to do this a couple times of the year where these folks do it on a daily basis. So if we could raise awareness to the point where we get more folks involved and really uh, put a, a solid dent in this uh, problem that we have going on, it would be better off for all of us. Coach Boss, I don't even know if that's appropriate to call you that. Bossy, great coach. How do you convince guys, and you know, the guys that do three to three NLCSs in a row, and you know, you're sitting there, you win a World Series, and to keep them motivated, the guys motivated, and then like for them to look at you and be like, but you're our strength coach and you're not in good shape. <laughs> how, do you, how do you keep them moving forward and through the body like that? Well, I came here to feel better about myself when I'm playing the last night. Actually, I'm in better shape than you think. I've been running from Bob Howery since 2008. Well, you really do, man. You, I, I said this. You, you've survived three ownerships. Uh, five GMs, 17 managers, and somehow, but like you do it because you have this amazing ability of communicating with the players. And sometimes it's not always about how much you bench press or how much you lift or what you're doing here or how fast you are, but what really takes each individual person. And I think out of anybody I've ever been around, you really treat each person like as close to their human being self as you can, and you see what ticks for them. You know, how do you manage all that? That's a lot of guys, man. That's a lot to know of every single person. Because I love them, they're cubbies, baby. Really, honestly, that's a lot of work, man. Yeah, I just try and hide. I don't think Theo and Jed think I'm still employed. So. <laughs> Actually, on a daily basis, too, Bussy has the. Um, uh, like a shtick every morning. He, he's, he's actually very funny. He's, he's kind of being very uh, modest at this moment. So every morning he gets the boys rolling. Uh, we get together in a big circle outside. We always got something going on. And it definitely gets the day off to a good start. Beyond, beyond all the, the, the normal stuff that you see, you know, whether it's strength and conditioning or ground balls or whatever, you need to have a sense of humor. You need to have fun at what you're doing in order to do that thing well. 
and on a daily basis, I've never seen anybody get a team get, uh, get a team off to a better start than he does just by what he does uh, in the morning. He's, he's fantastic. And that's what she said. Talk about, talk, Joe, talk about how proud of Dave Martinez was. Well, it's not a tea like that, you can't pass <laughs> Dave Martinez goes over to manage the Washington Nationals. There's a guy who was your bench coach in Tampa. He comes here, he finally gets a job. It's almost like your son is going on and moving on to have his finally have his chance to do something really special. And I know, I don't know for a fact, but it's close to a fact again, he wouldn't have that job if it wasn't for everything he would have done for him. Well, no, they, 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 Davey's going to be really good over there. Um, he and I have been together. Uh, since 2007, I think, with the, with the Devil Rays Rays. And uh, he's really good at what he does. He's going to – the thing about Davey that, and again, like a really good bench coach, you don't even realize, they have a lot of tough conversations for you. They organize a day for you. They permit you to walk in the door and just do your job. And beyond that game in progress, uh, the one edict I had given him was to really approach every game as though you're going to manage it yourself. So he's had a lot of experience over the last couple of years. He's walking into a pretty good team right now. I don't know if you saw that uh, playoff series against the Nationals. They're pretty good. So, uh, Davey, Davey's in a good spot. Uh, they're good. Come on now. This is going to be fun again. Um, Davey's, Davey's in a market into a great situation. I'm really happy for you. Last year you were up here and you said being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that. And I still want to What's this year? What's this year? Um, I, I started today. Um, okay. I'm going to try to keep this brief. Um, I've been influenced recently by a book uh, by Walter Isaacson about Leonardo da Vinci, and I'm working off that, I'm working off the concept of bringing the bar, bringing, putting the art back into the game. It's something that I wanted to do for a while, and and uh, I guess I talked about it the other day, and uh, the thanks was probably the first real super utility guy before Ben Zobrist was Leonardo da Vinci, when he said I can also paint. Uh, I love that line, the fact that Leonardo would put out a job resume, and the last thing he says is, I can also paint. In other words, I can play some second, I can put a punt down if you need it, the consummate team guy. So I'm really going to build off of that, and to putting the art back into the game, uh, and I'm also utilizing just one thing from Mr. Einstein, where he went, what, E equals MC squared, we're going to go E squared equals WIN squared. In other words, we're really going to bring energy and enthusiasm. I think, you know, with the group that we have, we see this guy. I don't know how the leads on you goes, but I mean, the one thing that we have to do is just be energetic and enthusiastic together because our guys are good. No get around it. Our guys are good. Uh, we're not we're not done putting it all together yet, but we have really good baseball players and good people. We just show up with the right attitude every day. It's going to happen again. So I'm working, I'm working off the Masters right now. Uh, and, and one of my favorites, Salvador Dali, I'll, I'll save that one for later. Um, Mr. The Surrealist. My son thought that I most resembles Salvador Dali. Well, John Vincent, you're amazing. Tim Buss, you're amazing. And Joe Madden, you're better than both of them. Thank you for your <laughs>